We have some big practice updates today as we have been monitoring this situation all week. You guys already know the 49ers are dealing with injuries to key players such as Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, Trent Williams, Dre Greenlaw, Aaron Banks. None of these guys practiced yesterday, but we do have some movement today that could be viewed as optimistic, but we still aren't out the weeds just yet. Let's start with the good news. Drake Greenlaw, who missed last week's game against the Browns, has officially returned to practice. This is great news because he has been dealing with a hamstring, and it does look like he is primed and ready to go, potentially, for this game. Tomorrow's status update from practice will tell us more, but this is the sign that we wanted to see in order to see Dre Greenlaw back on the field against the Vikings. Dre Greenlaw was absolutely missed on the field. He is playing as a top 10, arguably top five linebacker in the NFL right now. And the San Francisco 49ers need him on the field. And some other good news, 49ers left guard Aaron Banks also returned to practice. Uh, he was a surprise pop-up, did not practice yesterday, but he is back practicing today. So that is really good news for the San Francisco 49ers who are looking to get as healthy as they can. But now let's go to the not so good news and a trend that is developing that we don't really love coming up for the Vikings game. Trent Williams and Debo Samuel both did not practice today and weren't seen at the beginning of practice. And this is developing to be a trend where these guys might not go against the Vikings. We will see what that looks like. Obviously, tomorrow's practice reports become critical to these guys' availability for this game on Monday Night Football. As we all know, Trent Williams is the best left tackle in football, and it is a steep drop-off from Trent Williams to Jalen Moore. So we obviously want to get Trent Williams out there if we can, especially going up against an edge rusher in Daniil Hunter, who is one of the better ones in the league right now. So we're waiting to see what that status looks like. Again, both these guys were able to avoid serious injury but they have not practiced this week, and that is concerning for their availability this week. And obviously, Christian McCaffrey is at the top of the list of what we are monitoring in regards to his availability this week. Christian McCaffrey was seen working off to the side with trainers. Didn't look like he was participating in practice, just going through some rehab stuff, uh, stretching and doing different types of leg variation exercises. Uh, obviously, he's dealing with an oblique injury. So we'll see what this looks like. Obviously, if we have any chance of getting Christian McCaffrey on the field versus the Vikings, we need at minimum a limited participation tomorrow. And so that's why tomorrow's practice updates become so critical. So we are getting some guys back, but obviously the big three injuries, Debo, Trent, and CMC remains to be seen what their status will be. So Hopefully the extra day of rest, this is just a kind of preparation to give them some time, turn in a limited participation tomorrow, and then we see them active, ready to go for this game against the Vikings. However, there could be another situation that plays out where the 49ers don't want to risk additional injury and they rest Trent, Debo, and CMC. So the question now turns to you. What do you think the San Francisco 49ers should do if Trent, Debo, and CMC are able to play, should they play? Or do you think this would be a good opportunity to give them some rest? We saw the San Francisco 49ers give Brandon Ayuk a rest on a short week versus the Giants. Obviously, they get a extended week with the Monday Night Football game. Do we see them rest these guys in this game against the Vikings? The Vikings are struggling. They aren't playing particularly well, and they are dealing with injuries themselves. No Justin Jefferson, no Marcus Davenport. So what do you think the San Francisco 49ers should do with these players moving forward? Shout out to David Lombardi for getting us this information from practice. And as always, let me know what you guys think the San Francisco 49ers should do in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.